Okay, so today I'll be going over how to sort a column to match another value in another column. So here I have two columns of numbers. And let's say, for example, I have 10 in the first column. If there's another 10 in the second column, I will match that. And if there's 20 in the first column, but there's no 20 in the second column, it'll just be blank. So let's go through the formula for the first example. So what we need to do is use the if formula. So we need to check if there is the number 10 in the second column. So what we're going to do for that is use the count if function as well. So the range will be column B and I'm going to press F4 to make it an absolute reference and I'm going to count if 10 is found in this range. So now if the number of 10s in this column is 1 or greater, it will match. So in other words, if it equals 0, it will be blank because there's nothing to match it with. But if it's greater than zero, then it will become a match, just like that. And I can double click on this blue square and it will copy the formula down. So as you can see, since there's a 30 and 50 in column B, it will match with the 30s and the 50 in column A. Now there's also a second way to sort columns to find matches. So for the second scenario, I'm going to call it limited matches. So basically that means if there is, for example, two 30s found in column A, but only one 30 is found in column B, then only one of the 30s would get matched with the 30 in column B. So then for the second one, it then just would be a blank or not matched. So to do this, we need to know what is the supply and the demand of the values. So for example, when we look at 10 first, we know that the demand is one. And when we look at column B, we count how many tens there are in this column and the supply is only one. So since the demand is one and the supply is one, it will get matched. So it will get matched. And for 20, the demand is one, but the supply is zero as there's no 20s found in column B. So since the demand is more than the supply, there's nothing to supply the demand and hence it will be not matched. Now here's the important part. Let's say we have a 30 here. So as we go through row by row, we'll reach this 30. Now if we look at this row all the way up to the first row in column A, we know that the demand for 30 is only one. And we know that the total supply of 30s in column B is only one. So since there's enough supply for the demand, 30 will get matched. So this will get matched. However, when we move to the second 30, if we count from this cell upwards, we can see that there are two demands for 30, just like that. Whereas the supply for 30s in column B will always remain the same as one. So since the demand is greater than the supply, we will know that th this 30 has already gotten matched with a previous 30, and then now there is not enough supply for this 30 in column A, therefore not matched. So now we're going to move into the formula for it. So first we need to know the demand. So to do that, we'll use the count if function. So the range will always be from the first row in the column to the current cell. So the range is E13 to E13. And we need to make the first part an absolute reference since it'll always start from the first row. So to do that, we can just press F4, cancel out these dollar signs because we want this to be a relative reference when we copy down the formula. And the criteria will look through this range and count whatever is this row's value. So if the demand is less than or equal to the supply, then it will get matched. So if it's less than or equal to the supply, which is count if this range, this entire range, and we'll make it an absolute reference. And the criteria would be this value. So now we have the demand and the supply. Now we just need to add the if function in the beginning. So if demand is less than or equal to the supply, the value will be the same. Otherwise, it will be blank, just like that. Now we can double click on this to copy the formula down. Now, as you can see, 10 will get matched, 20 will not get matched, and only one of the 30s will get matched as there's only one supply of 30. And the 40 would be blank and the 50 would also get matched. So this also shows which values in column A did not get matched. And if I had more values in column B, for example, and I wanted to find which values in column B did not get matched as well, I can use the exact same method, replacing column A with column B. If this video has helped you out in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.